Well, it's time for another week end report. And it has been a busy week. I started the week in Ohio uh, last Saturday, was in Mainville, Ohio. I was there Saturday through Wednesday. Uh, but along the way, I also did a Sunday night service at another church in Ohio and then back to that church on Thursday night. So this past week, by the grace of God, I was in um, Mainville Baptist Church, but I also was at Cosadale Baptist in Goshen, Ohio. And both of these are good pastors doing a good work. And so I preached a revival meeting there at Mainville, then had a small role in the... Um, uh, missions conference at Cosadale Baptist. I got to lead singing, got to sing solos. Um, of course, I got to preach a lot this past week, and I thank God for that. And then on Friday, I drove to Point Pleasant, West Virginia, Grace Baptist Church, and that was an area-wide tent meeting. And by the grace of God, we had either six or eight saved on Friday night. We always, always, always want to see people saved. And uh, along the way, I had this burden to write a new song. Been a while since I'd written a new song, at least a new song of any value. I probably can write a song every single day. However, that doesn't mean it'll be a good song whatsoever. Probably boring, stale, just uh, not of value. But last Saturday and last Sunday, I had a burden to write a song. And last Sunday night, about midnight, this past Sunday night, which uh, at this point is about six days ago. This is Saturday morning. I'm in the prophet's chamber at Grace Baptist Church in Point Pleasant. About to leave, I'll tell you where I'm headed. But by the grace of God, wrote this song, What a Glorious Day. And it talks about four glorious days. Verse one, the day that Jesus left heaven and was born on this earth. Mm, that was a glorious day. <laughs> then on the second verse, Jesus gave his life for all. Well, that was a glorious day. Verse three, I learned Jesus died for me. Well, that's a glorious day for me, and it is for you. Remember the day you received Christ? Remember the day you learned Jesus died for you? And then verse four, soon my Lord will call for me. What a glorious day. All the ransomed I shall see. What a glorious day. And so here's the, the little song, and um, I'm, God willing, I'm going to teach it this coming week at the church where I'm at. Now, I taught it to the church in Mainville, Ohio, and they seem to like it. I know it's been a blessing to me. God has blessed me. He's been good to me. I don't deserve it. I got to deal with a young boy last night from the Bible about his salvation. That's just great, isn't it? I was eight years old when I received Christ. This young man was nine years old. The best time to get saved is when you're young. Well, if you want to copy this, what a glorious day, contact me somehow, and we'll see what we can work out there. It's not been published, um, and uh, uh, we're trying to figure out what to even do with the song, <laughs> how to put it uh, out. Um, but uh, this coming week, I'm headed uh, shortly. After I finish this video, I'm headed to Mountain Lake Independent Baptist Church, Pastor Dennis Leatherman. And that's over in Oakland, Maryland. And oh, it's such a good church. And I'll be there Saturday evening, this evening, through Tuesday evening, God willing. I need to say God willing. I don't know if I'll get there. I could die before I get there. The rapture could take place. I could be in a car wreck. You just don't know. Those imponderables are in the almighty hands of God. And I rest in him. God has been so good to me. He's been charitable. He's been benevolent with me. He has been with you too. He's been good to you, hasn't he? He's been patient with you. And I thank the Lord for all of this. Well, I've almost packed. I've got a little packing left to do. Uh, Brother Fox, for 29 years, <laughs> I've been living out of a suitcase. And I told someone the other day, I said, I'm like a missionary on deputation that's been trying to raise support for 29 years. <laughs> um, I don't try to raise support. By the grace of God, I've had nine churches take me on for support. I just had a church do that. 
they contacted me. And I say, thank you. What a blessing. Um, we have times that our cash reserves are pretty small. And we just come through that. And, um, you know, God's, look, God's been good to us. You, uh, you look at me. I've not missed meals. I've got shoes on my feet. I've got nice clothes. This shirt was given to me by a good friend of mine. Every time I wear it, I think about him, and I'm praying for him even right this moment. As I talk with you, I'm praying for my friend Dan, who gave me this shirt. We were going out soul winning together, and it was very, very hot. Instead of wearing one of my white shirts and a tie, I wore this shirt. After he and I went door knocking together, he said, why don't you just keep the shirt? And I'm so happy. Um, my friends are so good to me. And I want to be good to my friends. I want you to pray for my wife, Renee, and um, for our family, that uh, we will serve God as we ought, and um, that I will be the evangelist that I ought. And I appreciate so many of you that uh, continually pray for us, encourage us. Last night under the tent, uh, so many of my West Virginia friends just came and encouraged me in the Lord. And I can't tell you how much that means to me. Well, I'm going to go over there to my uh, Maryland friends today. And uh, they have open house at their church today. It's their 60th anniversary of Mountain Lake Independent Baptist Church. And we've got a very special service on Sunday. And uh, I'm going to preach um, from the word of God and we hope to see people saved and we hope to see the church invigorated and the church to take another step forward in our walk with God and that's what you need to do. Well, it's time for me to get on the road. So have a great day and do the next right thing. May God bless.